there. This is little Meera. She is very sad as her mother shouted at her a while ago. Meera's mother doesn't like her leaving the lights and fans on when they are not in use. Meera always forgets to turn them off. Meera's mother tells her she should not waste electricity at all. Well, that's because a major amount of electricity comes from coal and coal itself takes about millions of years to form. Let us go back in the time and help Meera to understand how coal is formed. Here we are, 300 million years back from the present. Back then, the earth was completely covered with different types of plants and trees as there were no humans or cities. Dinosaurs were living happily and everything was great. However, soon different natural disasters like the volcano eruptions and floods struck the earth, killing the plants and the dinosaurs present on the land. The dead remains of plants present on land got submerged under the layers of soil and got buried deep inside the surface of the earth. There were mighty earthquakes because of the movement of tectonic plates. This movement caused the remains of plants to get buried deeper and deeper. The accumulation of debris cut off the supply of oxygen to these dead and decaying matter. Also, the heat under the earth's surface, along with the pressure, caused these remains to convert into fossils and then coal. Fossils are formed when the dead remains of plants and animals get embedded in the rocks. Plant fossils results in the formation of coal. This process of conversion of dead remains of plants into coal in the presence of heat and pressure and absence of air is called carbonization. It's called carbonization because all the elements like nitrogen, hydrogen and oxygen present inside the dead remains are lost, only carbon is left behind. Since coal is produced from the fossils or dead remains of plants, it is called a fossil fuel. The conversion of dead matter into coal is very slow and it takes hundreds of years. That is why coal should be used judiciously, otherwise it will get exhausted soon in the future. Reducing the consumption of electricity is one way to reduce the use of coal. Now, Meera has understood this and she is going to turn off the lights and fans always when they are not in use. That's all for this video. See you next time.